YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to a new weekly episode. Beautiful day, sun is out, it is really hot, it's too hot really. But I'm just putting the back of the car back together. So we're talking Audi. So I am going in to the BMW. So I've made a decision. I am going to bolt the stuff on it, stick the stickers on it, and leave it like that for now until, um, and then I'm going to take it up. Sorry, dust. Take it up to the body shop, get him to walk around it, tell me, tell him, tell me what he wants me to do, and then we shall um, start doing the bits. Anyway, whatever. So. I can't remember, I'm sure I've told you. So I banged to the back of the car, but then somebody else hit the car. Anyway, so the boot was well out of shape, everything was bent, um, the light was all pushed in, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I've just been repairing it, putting it all back into shape, blah, 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 as best as I can. Um, so I've just got to rub it down now, um, put some um, filler in a few little bits to give it a nice bit of a level, and then I'm just going to probably wrap the boot because it's only a little bit. Um, I mean, ideally it needs some paint in places, but um, whatever, anyway, so here we go. So this is what I've done so far. So this light was pushed in and luckily it hadn't actually busted the light too much. I mean, it's chipped a bit off of here and it cracked it here, but not the end of the world. Obviously this here, I've got to buff out and whatnot anyway. Um, but the boot, this boot here, was this was all pushed right over. Um, so it was touching against the side of the light there and it had a massive gap here. So anyway, so I've, I've pulled that, pull it all out, out. And what I found was when I took the light out, the actual bottom of the light here, or the two bolts where it bolts in there, it actually pushed it how it didn't break it must have just been in the right position but it pushed it and pushed it in away from the bumper because i thought oh it's probably the bumper that's taken the impact the most so therefore it's probably tilting outwards but actually this isn't um this is okay now it fits it fits the boot bell so obviously it's still got a gap here but at least it's not touching there's a gap this side now but at least it's not touching the actual light uh sorted the lock out so I moved all that over obviously there's not really a lot more i can do with this but it is what it is there we go anyway. all right onward um first i obviously repaired the damage and then i've had to put a join here you can see that well, anyway there's a join there i've done it on the on this line here there's like a this body line so i put a join there uh temporarily until i can get some paint or vinyl ordered but it looks better than it did it's good enough too hot can't be bothered Yeah, it'll do. Certainly it looks better than it did. I'm not quite sure why I'm bothering really. It is only the tank. But I can't stand it when it's too much of a mess. You could do the wash really. But I'm too hot, can't be bothered. I'm gonna go and get in the shower. Hello, good afternoon. It is Friday. Woke up this morning, I could barely move. My hips were so bad, don't know what I've done to it. Anyway, moving on. So I took the bumper off of the Beamer and uh, brought it in here. It's supposed to be chucking it down over the weekend, so I thought, right, well, I can bring it in here and it can be drying and all the rest of it. So I put the grill back in, put a piece of metal on there to hold that in place while the, the um, sealer goes off. Um, I've also put the splitter on. Now I'm not 100% sure about the splitter, um, I may have to move it um, because obviously it's quite far here, but it's kind of uh, yeah, 
get really see. I can't move the thing now. Uh, but it is what it is until uh, it gets back on the car. Uh, I've had to kind of uh, wing it a little bit because I may have to take some edging off subject to the wheels. Because when I, so when I put it on there, I, I fit it up, put it on there as a, as a test fit. Once the car, the wheel misses by, you know, 20 mil. The other side misses one way, but just comes close to it and actually touches it if the bumper's in the wrong place. So I don't know if it's flexing and it will touch until I bolt it all back together. But if it does, then I'm just going to um, take some of this edging off here, um, just like you know, curve it or something like that, because you won't see this bit so much. So yeah, uh, obviously I put the uh, the light pack that's attached to the grill on the bottom. Um, so I just got to obviously wire this in. So yeah, so that's that. That is done which is good because I'm absolutely sweating and my, well, I was going to say my back, it's, it's my hips, but my, I think it's to do with my lower back. Anyway, whatever. Afternoon or evening, believe it or not. Well, it's uh, well, afternoon still actually. It is 12, 20 to five. So you probably ask yourself, why have I got head, ear defenders on and I'm trying to wash the car? Because I've got a massive splitting headache. Um, I've got, I've had problems all day. So there's a leak, like another leak. So I've got the heaters actually going inside to try and dry out. I think I've sick fixed it anyway. In the den, um, I've bolted this on, um, the new splitter. Um, put the grills back in. I've got to really touch up a few areas, but yeah, anyway, I'll show you that in detail, maybe on the next video. Um, but I'm just giving the, it was supposed to be raining and chucking it down over the weekend. As you can see, it's like, it's still really too hot. It's about 21 now, 20 degrees. Uh, so as you can imagine, it's far too hot to be washing a car. But I need to get it done because obviously I'm driving up to this wedding in a couple of days and I don't know because I'm working if I'm going to get time to actually do it. So I'm going to do it quick once over, try and do it before it dries on the paint. Not that it matters, it's only the Audi. I might even try and give that a rinse off. But yeah, so this is the uh, back of the Audi after I repaired it. So still got a couple of little crinks and crinks and creases in places. But nothing dreadful. I still haven't got this off yet. This bit off here, and I've just knocked a little bit of paint off in the jet wash on these bloody wheel arches. So I haven't got anything to touch up with. So I'm not sure what to do there. Um, yeah. So there we go. I'm just going to give it a quick once over, and uh, maybe even rinse that off. That's over in the shade a bit, so that's not too bad. But yeah, that's, that looks really good. I really like it. Right, so if you're wondering why I used a brush on the cars, a couple of reasons. One, it's really hot still. I know that's no excuse. Two, this has got to be um, mopped. Well, it's got to be finished being painted. It's got to be mopped. Um, it's got to be sanded and then mopped. You can actually see, you see the where I've been starting to rub it down, you see it's now it's starting to dry. You can see where it looks like it's all scratched. Well, it is all scratched, but that's because I started flattening it. I haven't even started flattening the bonnet yet. But, hey, um, it was more just to get off some of the bird poo and uh, get and start flaking off some of this. I've got flakes of all the loose bits. So you see here where all the paint's coming off. 
so you don't have this. Um, now obviously it's going to be painted, but time being I'm probably just going to wrap the back uh, of that. Oh, my hips are so bad. But yeah, that's the Audi. The Audi doesn't really matter too much. Um, you can see this is actually a different colour. Um, also this is actually faded and the lack has come off. That's why it's like that. So that's actually a bit of vinyl, same as that. Anyway, there we go. Pack up now. This looks a little bit better. Well, apologies if there's any uh, dots on the screen. Do not adjust your TV set. It is me. Uh, so, a couple of more silly things turned up for the BMW and for, I've done the Audi as well, can't remember if I said that, anyway, uh, state me. So, a bit of a silly thing, I was going to just make these, but you can buy them, so cheap, and uh, put one of these fake vents on it, um, obviously it's not the right black, it's just a bit of, a bit of silliness really. Um, I also put a trim protector on the front of this Audi, I think that's what you call it. See that little sort of splittery thing? It's not perfect because it just sticks on. Um, you can put screws in it, but yeah, it'll do. It might just stay on for five seconds, but anyway. Um, but yeah, so I finished cleaning it yesterday uh, and I quickly painted the wheels touched up in a few places, still haven't done the door, so yeah, a bit of fun. Loving the splitter though, the splitter looks really good. A bit boy racery, but hey. Anyway, so I am going to end this week's video because, well, it's getting long, long in the tooth. Oh my god, look at the state of it in here. All right, dogs. Um, so yeah, anyway, <clears throat> from me and KB and everybody else, hope everyone's had a fantastic week and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>